Hey, it's Nerve, and I'm back again with a new video. And in this video, I did say that I was going to be eating crickets, bacon and cheese flavored crickets, and I will be in this video. But this is also an update video on the Bark River here and the handle. As you know, if you have seen my other video on this, that I had some issues with the handle hair on there. Uh, issues with the handle having cracked a bit and having gaps. So I'm going to be doing that first, but uh, so obviously these, truth told, I have eaten these exact same things before. They're cheese and bacon flavored and I ate them years and years ago and I gotta say, I absolutely hated them. So I'm gonna imagine that my taste hasn't changed unless they were like bad or something and I highly doubt it I don't know if it's the cricket itself or if it's the fake flavoring itself that I don't like at all but either way I really don't like that so if you want to see me be really grossed out stay tuned for that so back to the knife so I got this back in September 2016 and this was not a cheap knife by any means it was I believe $377 but after taxes and customs because it comes from the states and in Canada all that shipping and all that good stuff it came out to a lot more than $377 you know it's expensive when you have to try to hide it from me at first <laughs> no you made me go up to somebody else's he wanted to know if the package was there and maybe go to another person's house and look at their package to see if it was the same shipping provider and they thought I was stealing your package. I almost got jumped. Yes, uh, they weren't too happy about that. That's a, that's a story for another video. <laughs> so anyways, uh, like I said, I had issues with the handle. Uh, if you go back and check it out, they weren't that noticeable when I first got it. I mean the gaps in the handle uh, on the scales were fairly wide but it wasn't super super noticeable but now and let me just say that I have really not used this knife for much of anything I've cut a few things no chopping no, no choppy no no chopping no heavy usage or anything and look how bad the crack has gotten it has gone all the way across the entire handle it's full and team. basically it's it, in it's in two pieces. Yeah, so the, the part from here on is separate from the part Yes. There. I mean, it's still there. Obviously, it's still pinned down, so it won't come off unless I really, really try to get it off. But, but it's not in one piece. That like should, it should not happen. For an expensive <laughs> knife. So, uh, also, look on the other side. I don't know if you can see that there, but there's another, just above my fingernail, there's Correct. another crack forming there and another crack there. Trying to get that in the light there. And uh, the gaps on the back, they don't seem to have gotten any worse, really. They're still there. They obviously didn't go away, but they're not getting worse. No, which it's is, not as bad as the cracking. Which, yeah, the handle cracking, obviously, that's not good. Now, just to clarify, Derek from... Uh, I think his name is Derek Bond from Knife Ships Free. He has emailed me. In fact, he emailed me very soon after I put out the first video and said that he would fix everything, like, if I sent it back to him. But you know what? Sending it back, I mean, I've already paid a lot of money. and I don't want to have to ship it back, pay for the shipping and all that. Just make it even more expensive. I'll live with a cracked knife. And it's kind of like a buyer beware sort of thing and kind of also like an experiment to see how bad it gets without me causing it because I'm not using it it's just sitting there kind of on display that's not to say so that they, they did contact him yeah. and try to fix the issue it's, it's, it's his choice not to exactly. send it back it's my choice it's nothing on them they're being good customer service people all that kind of good stuff so honestly can't say anything about the company or anything uh, and yeah, that's the update on the knife. The leather on the sheath, beautiful. It's holding up very well. But I mean, obviously, when you're not taking it out and stuff, 
nothing's going to really happen to it, but I would imagine it's very thick and very sturdy leather, so I don't think anything would happen to it anyways. Nothing here is on, like, cut at all from taking no. it out? Sheets. No, it was a very well-designed des uh, sheath and everything, so. So next, uh, let us uh, move on to eating crickets, shall we? Mm. My favorite part of the video. They take the butts out, right? No. What? No, that's an entire cricket. Well, isn't it... Aren't you not supposed to eat the butts? Well, they cook. The, I'm sure it's deep fried or something. Wait, do they so. do they like do they starve them for a while? No, they're farmed. So anything that these are eating, they're farmed cricket. It's only eating stuff that they want to eat. It's not like a wild cricket. But if you get a cow from a farm, they don't serve it with their cow's poo. <laughs> it's t that's a little different. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's, it's the whole cricket, the entirety. Guts, the insides, Bleh. the legs. Bleh. The legs oh. are like the little drumsticks. Yes. Oh, oh they have like an anatomy for the cricket on the back. It's the cricket anatomy. The entirety of the cricket. I don't know if you can read that, but they have the drumstick, the rump, the flank, the wings, and the breast. Cricket oh. breast. Mm. Let's get a nice little close up there. The only thing missing on this cricket seems to be the antennae. Because it's even got the little thing that sticks out the back of the abdomen. I don't know what it's called. It looks like a stinger, but it's not a stinger. Oh, the little feeler yeah. things in the back? Whatever. I'll try to grab it by its head. The butt flaps? That thing right there. I think that's that their, their penis. I don't actually know. I don't think so. So, uh, yeah. How would you like to be eaten? No, I don't want to. Oh, that was really cringy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to, uh, you know, procrastinate because I know I'm going to Just put it like in this. your mouth. Just do it. Put it in your mouth. I don't want to. Do it. I don't want to do as much as he YouTube. doesn't want to. Do it to. for the YouTube views. You ate the century egg. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's that flavor. Mmm. Is it more bacon or more cheese? It's more fake bacon than cheese and cricket. It's like a cross between like a really crappy fake bacon flavor, which I'm sure some people know what I'm talking about. Sunflower seed shells. And an undescribable and bug. cricket flavor. Like, I've eaten a lot of bugs before. Tastes like dirt, and doesn't it? it? No, it's... Hay? There's no way to describe it. Hmm. It's just... It's cricket. Cricket through and through. Cricket That's the only meat. thing that tastes like it. And, well, that I've ever tasted. Ah, oh, And it's getting stuck in my teeth. Hmm. Uh. That. Okay. Yeah. It's the only thing that tastes like it is cricket that I've ever tasted before. Scale 1 to 10? Uh, a fruit? No. Mm. If 10 is good and 0 is bad, this is like a point five. It's not good at all. I mean, unless you like that weird cricket flavor and <laughs> fake bacon flavor. I think it's more a novelty. Like, if you know, have, if you've ever gotten a uh, Caesar salad... Oh, the from, fake, the fake yeah, bacon bits. Exactly. Fake bacon bits. It's from like vegetable Caesar's matter salad. that's flavored with bacon. That's the flavor of the bacon. Let's see the ingredients real <coughs> quick. I'm not really sure. No one can really read that, but crickets flavoring whey. Cheese blend. Yeah. So it's as smoke flavoring. So. Yeah. It's just a gross nitrate, I'm sure. And it's probably not very good for you, but mm -hmm. I mean, the cricket itself. Very good. Yeah, for it's you. got it's got full of protein. <laughs> 0.67 grams of protein, considering it's very tiny. It's one gram per cricket. So yeah, at least you got that going for you, cricket. But that uh, is going to wrap up the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me torture myself eating gross crickets. I don't recommend people do that unless they really want to. It's not going to hurt you, <laughs> obviously. <to> <laughs> it's just really gross tasting. And honestly, eating bugs 
doesn't bother me. The only reason that bothers me is because the taste is gross. We need to find one that doesn't have... At Flavoring. that candy store, they had more bugs. But, yeah, see if we can find a cricket that's not flavored. And so, so there should be... If the knife gets any worse, there will be an update on the knife as well. Yeah, I will keep updating on the knife. If yeah, you can, you can apart, feel the crack. You can feel... <laughs> oh, yeah, it's pretty big. The, yeah. It's definitely pretty big. But if it...